searching someone out to be able to help them or fix them in their brokenness. And then we're searching for the Emerald City and the man, the wizard or whatever, that could help them or heal them. And when they got there, that wizard sent them on a mission and it was of his own agenda to fulfill his own needs. And then when they got back, they realized that it wasn't even a big, powerful, mighty wizard or whatever it was called. It was just a man behind a curtain. And then we went back over to where the people were at the temple. And I saw a lighting of a torch. And I don't know if it has anything to do with what I was using to see inside the temple. Because as I mentioned before... I felt like I was very like modern and I was like, I just need a flashlight. So I sort of had a flashlight and I looked in the temple and it looked like everything was in its place where it belonged in the temple, but it was not lit up. It was in darkness. And at that point, the temple began to crush down, fall down. Um, just, it fell apart into rubble until all that was left was the Ark of the Covenant, but the Ark of the Covenant was also under a shadow of darkness. And at some point in the vision, I saw a fire that was um, beginning to get hotter and hotter, and it was black on the outside, but you could see the light of the fire from the inside, and it began to get hotter and hotter, and the blackness fell off until the, the red hot appeared and this is sort of what happened with this arc. The darkness sort of began to break off until the gold, you know, beauty of this arc was um, uh, there and prevalent. And um, after I saw the arc in all of its glory, it actually exploded into pieces. And sort of inside of the arc, all that was inside the budding staff, the Ten Commandments, the manna, everything was sort of glowing and it came forward towards me. That was very significant. It all just came forward to the forefront of my mind so I could see it and it was very important. And that is where the vision is.